we all see this amazing art behind us. So, what is the concept of it, Kelly? Well, the um, the unhappy marriage, um, the name of the piece. It's a critique on monogamy and um, the unhappiness that it can create um, when it's with the wrong person. Um, so as you may see, the flip-flop and the knitting needle, they should both be in a pair. Um, however, they could not find their matching pair and they found each other. They support each other and you can see that the knitting needle is holding the shoe. Um, they are trapped and neither is fulfilling their, their true purpose. The so unhappy was it, marriage. Was it difficult for you to create this object? How long did it take? Well, I suppose it's taken my whole life to wake up and see what's all around. Um, but actually I just, I saw these objects and the inspiration just came to me one day. Do you think that having the concept in the modern art is important? Like, or you can just make whatever you want just without any concept? You don't have to think any, about anything. Well, I think for any concept, you, there is some thought involved, but Sometimes you aren't able to express that thought in words, and this is where art can help. You're able to express uh, the concept in a different way. Do you consider it to be a trashy art? What do you mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> because this is the new dimension in the modern art, it's the trashy art. <laughs> so, well, so what do you think about the trashy art? You know, the trashy music, yeah. trashy paintings, trashy... I mean, it's literal trash. <laughs> the shoe was found. It's just rubbish. <laughs> yeah, so it's made by rubbish. Yes, but, but it, it wasn't always rubbish. That's the thing. It wasn't always. It, it had a purpose, and now it has a new one. But for you, the concept is important. Yeah, and it looks pretty, so there's also that. <laughs> yeah, for me, it, it needs to kind of make you pause and think, huh, what is that? And um, perhaps that's all that happens, but at least it will destabilize you for that day and something's made you pause. That's, that's a good thing. Yeah. Do you think that you'll continue making some new art objects? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm not sure what, but yeah, something. I'm pretty casual about my conceptual art, I've got to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's art from life. <clears throat> yeah. Do you consider to make some exhibitions, some indoor space? I mean, I, I like art to be everywhere. So, this is an exhibition <laughs> in my house. <laughs> think some people will will be interested and you know we can have that um yeah we can have that conversation and that that will be nice but but who are the people who would would be interested in conceptual art well someone like you yeah but because i had some previous experience maybe but what about other people well i think curiosity is a human trait so at the very least, some people will be curious and maybe some people will dismiss it and that, that's fine, that's you know, their reaction at that time. But other people, even if they don't have someone to ask in person, like we are talking now, right. um, they will ask themselves, huh, I, I wonder what that is.